Um, again, another reminder that I would very much like there to be a, a, a fucking pause a real collective pause and a stopping of these topics. I'm tired of them. I, d I understand this lady, if I'm not mistaken, this Ohlone lady is a author and she writes books about relationships and sex and stuff. So maybe this is right in her lane, but I'm tired of this. I'm really tired of these fucking conversations and these tweets. And I really do hope from now on in 2024, this is the last time we see this shit. So if you're not seeing it on the screen, cause it's a bit too flipping, whatever, but essentially she said here, I'm asking this question because of a dilemma um, I just received. Okay, so if you're, a, if you're in a relationship, is it wrong to share a bed with your best friend of the opposite sex? Like, honestly, is this what's actually going through your brain? Is this what's going through your brain? Is this what's going through your brain on a daily basis? You just sit around thinking of these nonsense fucking topics. Are you not tired of these things? Do, are you not tired of thinking about this stuff on a daily basis who should pay for the first date should you split the bill um um should you get married before having should you have kids before getting married um if your boyfriend cheated on you would you take him back would you go for the how much money does a guy have to make because before he dates you how much money blah, blah, blah. should he buy you this blah, blah. it's like fucking hell it's boring these topics have been running to the ground i've had enough we all have had enough we don't want to hear these conversations and these topics anymore they're all fucking boring brain dead birdie fucking you know beastie laddie dumb fucking double digit iq conversations they're all absolutely stupid but with that being said maybe i'm the one that's in maybe i'm the stupid one maybe i'm the exception because I think the majority of people, based on these people's views, if you go on certain channels and shit, you'll see certain channels that base their content around this sort of stuff. Their views are in the fucking hundreds of thousands, if not millions. And my views are in the single digit thousands, you know? So maybe, maybe they know what they're doing and I don't know what they're doing. And I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe there is some genius to be had with recycling love, relationship, and sex topics again and again and again ad nauseum. <laughs> Big up Richie, I appreciate you. As can't wait to hear about the title wise for L Trash I got like five pieces from the collection for a price of a car, but hey what do I know? <laughs> for the price of a car. <laughs> Big up Richie. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. I got five pieces for the price of a car. What do I know? Big up Richie, man. Balling out of control. Yeah, we're going to get to that. We're going to fucking get to that. Don't you worry. We're going to get to that. But big up Richie, I appreciate you, bro. Um, But yeah, I don't know. I just look at these topics and I think to myself, like, maybe I'm in the minority. Maybe I'm the person that's in the wrong here. Maybe I don't get it. Maybe I should jump on it because it's, you know, people want to hear and want to see that sort of stuff. Because like I said before, the views, like as someone mentioned here, the views on TikTok, the views on YouTube, the views on Instagram, the engagement on different platforms when it comes to these topics is sky high. Clearly, I'm the minority here. But I honestly do think these topics aren't even that interesting. They don't even ask interesting questions. Like this question he's asking is like dumb. Like what? Would you be okay? With, like, just reverse it and ask the, the, the person, would you be okay with that? Would you be okay with your husband or your boyfriend telling you that he's sleeping over at his quote-unquote friend's house and she happens to be a really hot girl? Would that be okay with you? And they're sleeping in the same bed. Would, would you be okay with that? If you're okay with that, then cool. Then, he should be, then you should be okay with him doing it. Whatever, move on. It's not that deep of a topic. And also, you don't need to bring all your fucking bedroom kind of debates and whatever it may be, relationship stuff to the internet, you know? Can we just, like, have that? I think the the i think it's i blame love line i blame love line i blame all those papers that ask you to send in your questions about relationship because really and truly like what what is it anyone's business like why do we care everyone's relationship is different everyone has different things that they tolerate and don't tolerate like why should we have to be subjected to your inner monologue when it comes to dating and fucking and stuff you have to be like why why do we have to know about this stuff can you just leave us alone can you just sort it out on your own do you have to always fucking you know what you call it do you always have to flip in you know gather the fucking views of random people online before you make a decision and isn't that a bit weird too imagine you're actually taking the relationship advice from people that you don't know online 
like some random people just are, are the ones suggesting you or telling you whether or not you should like divorce somebody you know get with somebody move on to the next stage or something like what because like what the hell is going on what happened to just you being able to judge it for yourself because you're actually guess what in the fucking relationship why do you need to flip in you know why need to do a um a group project with strangers online regarding who you are laying with in your bed or who you decide to share your life with like it's no benefit to anybody out here it really flipping isn't it's so odd is it, like I, I just don't even understand the quite exactly a young person saying that like, i don't get the question i don't get the flipping question i don't get the fucking question like why would you want to like why would you want to do that anyway like what does your friend not have another room does your friend not have a floor you can sleep on does your friend not have a couch you just have to sleep in their bed well what, like what like why what what is even this question and what what scenario even got you there anyway like i don't know if this was me and i had a friend who wanted to stay over and they were a, a, a woman or something i would just let them sleep in my bed and i'll sleep on the sofa it's not that big of a deal you know like whatever they need someone to crash something happened hey yeah you can take my bed no problem i'll stay on the sofa here's a towel whatever you have your privacy do your thing and whatever i'll be next door if you need me like it's not that big of a deal really it isn't like come on bro like what is all this shit like what is this grown people to all like over the age of 25 you're basically an adult like allow it please i've had enough my brain hurts every time i hear this sort of stuff i really don't understand what's going on i really don't man honestly i really 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 don't i think that's the thing though alexander martin i think i am in the minority and i think we all might be in a minority go on flipping go on youtube go on tiktok check the views of some of these platforms like i forgot what that channel is it's oh what well, um the whatever channel right the one where they have like a whole group of only fans girls sitting there and one white dude look at the views that they get look at the views that fresh and fit get um those things are super popular people love talking about this sort of shit so i think we are in a minority i don't i think most people love these fucking conversations honestly it's so fucking exactly look at people saying in the, in the comments yes Ohlone, it is you're fair to you know the answer love you know the answer you're 30 you know the answer love exactly let common sense be the flower that grows in the garden of 2024 why do you even have a best friend of opposite sex in the relationship <laughs> see you lot in 2025 let all these dumb questions end this week since it made its way into 2024 you know when kids don't want to go to bed so they make a stupid conversation with you about nothing mom would you love me if i was a bed bug this is what these silly conversations are giving. Exactly. <laughs> Stratford Station question in 2024. So yeah, I'm glad there are some people out there who are agreeing with my sentiments, but I think the majority of people out there do enjoy these conversations. They bring them some level of joy. I don't necessarily know why, but for some reason they love it. They fucking love it. 